Welcome back to Smitty's Learning Room. Today we're going to continue looking at Core 2 and the focus question, how does the acquisition of skill affect performance? And we're going to have a look at validity and reliability. So we've been having a look at this um, question, how does the acquisition of skill affect performance? We've already had a look at characteristics of a skill performer and last video we looked at objective and subjective performance measures. Today we're going to look at the validity and reliability of tests. So let's have a look at what is validity and what is reliability. So valid and reliable tests which measure performance is critical for sport. And the test should provide evidence that a learner or an athlete can execute skills effectively. So having a look at validity, it refers to the extent to which a test is meant to measure. So we ask the question when we're looking at this, does this test measure or prove what I need to find out or no? So for example, if I'm trying to work out um, how fast I can go over 20 metres, do I do a 20 metre sprint test as here on the right or do I do an agility shuttle test? And so obviously the agility shuttle test while it's a very good test, it's not very valid for testing how fast I can go over 20 metres. When we look at the concept of reliability, this refers to the test's ability to indicate consistency between measures of the same skill. So the question we say to ourselves is, is the test the same as last time? Are the conditions the same? So a way that we can actually test this is by looking at, um, you know, are we using the same environment? Are we, is it the same temperature? Is it the same time of the season, even though it's the same test? So for example, doing a VO2 max shuttle run here on a basketball court versus doing one on the grass, is that a reliable measure of results? Because they're two very different surfaces. So not only um, is the surface softer on grass, but the ability to turn is probably a little bit more difficult than what it is on a hard basketball court. So we need to ensure that our tests are reliable. So obviously by having a look at the concepts of validity and reliability, we start to think about, well, how do we actually ensure that performance measures or tests are actually valid and reliable? How can we increase this? And we can increase reliability um, as a, of a test so that the chances of results can be consistent or the ability to compare the results can happen. So we can increase reliability by ensuring that the location of the performance is the same the same instructions and procedures are given to each athlete or performer, and the number of attempts is the same, and the same measurement or scoring system is used for the whole competition or the whole game, and that the knowledge of the results is consistent across all athletes and participants. So in summary, when looking at validity and reliability of tests, when we're looking at the validity of a test, we ask ourselves, does this test measure what I want to know or find out? And when looking at the reliability of a test, we say, can this test allow me to compare results from the last test? Is it reliable?